These Japanese players are on a different level for a reason. It's just that, you know, it is hard to travel out through the country, especially with the current COVID situation happening. But T, keep in mind, coming fresh off of that win in crown two, 6 0 ing to Buzz in grand finals. By the way, reverse 6-0. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so we continues. have Villager, and now we're just going to get the other side of that. We are this going to this. get Isabelle, a character that you actually play, uh, but going up against Marth, who I still feel like we have a couple of good Marth representation. I would like to see more because I feel like still people are like, oh, well, Marth isn't good, it's just Lucina, but Marth does have a little bit of propaganda around him. Some people do say he's high tier. Um, yeah, I can see why people would say that. I mean, when you land those tippers, they, they kill extremely fast. I mean, the down air into F smash, when it lands, there's literally like a delay from the hit connecting from how strong it is. And I mean, thankfully in SoCal, we believe in that Marth propaganda because we have Ignace. One of the yes. best Marth players. Yeah, we we get we see Ignace pull some stuff off and we're like, wow, maybe this character is busted after all, but being out like kind of with that Isabel, I love the zoning game because T, you no, know, definitely no stranger to that <laughs> one and just fishing it out there using the umbrella, covering that option. T doing an amazing job so far. Yeah, T definitely understands how to play a zoner, understands the spacing for sure. I love the up tilt into the up airs here, but honestly, Jared probably just needs one good tipper at the ledge to at least get something started here. But how do you recover when you're already down there? The Nair is actually going to save Jared, but good on T to be able to get the grab. Can't find much else, though. The trade? Yeah, a little bit of a trade here, but still, everything's all fine and good. Works out well. Up smash trying to run up, but when I'm be able to connect, be careful of that fishing rod. That's like the day one. I'm going to be real with you. I, yeah, got hit right. with, I got hit with that. Uh, <laughs> I embarrassingly got hit with that quite a lot. Wow. And finally, the up air sweep, able to take it with that tipper. You know, Isabel, just a little, you know, little, little shih tzu. A small dog and quite light as well. If that, honestly, if that smash connected, I wouldn't have... Uh, I, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, it might have killed. I'm going to be real with you, right? I'm just trying to find the words, but, you know, 100%, that tipper and uh, being super light on there, but setting up this camp with the slingshot being thrown out there. You know, I'm going to be real, Jared has a chance because Rage Marthler is really scary. I mean, we saw just what the up air can do with enough Rage. Definitely want to see a little bit more jab coming out, but I like the way that Jared is using the platforms to at least kind of play around this Mario Party mini game of uh, Isabelle and projectiles here. The Lloyd is planted, so let's see how Jared's going to be able to get out of the corner, but you're trying to get out of the corner versus one of the players who is the best in the corner in the world, and that's T. It doesn't matter what character they're on. Be able to do the same exact plan that Bear from Ledge. Getting out of the situation. Oh, barely able to get the shield up just in time to avoid that Lloyd rocket getting this damage stacked up. But the Nair connecting, scarily looking close. Goes for the ledge trump. I like the idea, but T on point of it and even calling out the jump with that up air. Yeah, looking really good coming out from T. I think we've seen a lot today of players utilizing the platform to continue their edge guards, which is super solid just smash in general. You have to use the entire stage to help you. Not going to be able to find the fishing rod, but going to be able to find the up tilt back air. A little bit of styling coming out from T. Can't find the nair down, which gives Jared the opportunity to at least try and create some space, but now going to be able to get that down air on T. Yeah, gets the tipper, but unfortunately it won't be the spike hitbox. So Jared trying to go out there, up smash, not in the range. You're talking about earlier to use those jabs. Jared will be able to use it there. Great delay on T's and, and actually gain stage control because of it. Up smash in the incorrect direction, though. So we'll be staying alive with the constant swings with the slingshot that keep you guessing. And if you're not aware, the rolls being read out with those tilts. Amazing stuff again with the tilt and the fishing rod being sent out there. Once again, you're stuck in the corner against T, but thankfully, the buffs on the tipper hits boxes for the back here finally coming into fruition. Ooh, F tilt! And that is going to be T moving on in bracket in randoms. Really solid Isabel play. I'm Honestly. not quite sure if T, like, secondary is the character, but looked very, very comfortable. The movement was really there. And like we were talking about, you know, T does main a zoner, and positioning with zoners is half the battle, I think. I mean, you got to, it's like in almost every traditional fighting game. You know, these zoners, there's a reason why they have to be really careful because you have to know when to throw out your projectiles, when to throw out those zoning tools, because it's the famous, you know, jump in when they do a fireball and you yeah. can get a full on combo off the NT, making sure to throw out those slingshots. And I love the usage of the umbrella to constantly keep Jared is King in check, like automatically just kind of throwing out the option. But, you know, the bear out of shell up to do it. Oh, that. That hitbox is like ridiculous good at first, like the buffs really helped it out, but 
This is a kind of the killer one able to stiff foot out there. And a lot of players, I mean, when you're stuck in this corner, they like to do that immediate option. Right. And the most popular one being you no know, neutral getup. Yeah, that's true.